Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous part, I mentioned that in this part, first of all, we want to highlight the selected index in the bottom navigation bar and also later, we want to preserve the state of selected page. So to implement this as, or to highlight the selected item in the bottom navigation bar, what we want is to be uh, informed whenever this page is changed. So to achieve that, if I hover on this page view, we have something called on page changed. And this on page changed is a void function which gives us this in integer value which is the index of selected page. So what we want is we want to uh, implement this on page changed. So I'm going to type as on page changed and I am just going to copy this one and I am going to create another function. I'm just going to copy and paste that uh, on item tapped so it is similar to that but here we want to implement something else if I print it for debugging purpose in printing the index and if I save it and let me refresh this app and if I open the terminal here if I select any of these uh, items you can see the index is printed here suppose if I click on favorites it should print two okay so then this page change with will gives us the uh, page which is changed so what we need is here first of all we need to create another variable and I'm going to call it as selected index here and I'm going to initialize it with zero first because once we uh, you know after initialization this page view automatically will assign the zeroth element inside this list as the initial value so what we want to you know the selected index to be equal to do to that and here inside the on page change do we want to call the set state to set our state and we want this selected index to be equal to the indexed or the page index let me copy let me change this one to the page index because it is more meaningful here so page index okay and here it is item index so item index okay so right now we have that but we didn't use this selected index and also I just uh, noticed we need to create this as a final because we are not going to change that so it is better to initialize it as a final value and right now we can use this selected index how we can use it here inside this bottom navigation bar item we have two things first of all we have the title and also we have the icon and uh, right now what we want is to change the styles of this text and also the icon based on the selected item so what we want is right now the color of this text should be something whenever this selected item index is equal to the zero so when the, so this is ours you know let me just close this nav bar and here what we have is the selected index so this item is our zero element so if the uh, selected index is equal to zero uh, what we want is the color of this text should be colors.blue otherwise this uh, uh, color should be colors. Uh, let me put as gray here and why it is not working it should be selected index and I think I put here the bell and double underscores okay 
so you can right now if I just refresh this app and if I select this one you can see that this is not blue anymore because the selected index is right now equal to 1 so I am just going to copy this style and I am going to paste it for other texts so like this one here for the favorites also and here for the accounts so let me save it but if I select the zeroth element you can see all of them are blue why because we need to change this logic so if for the form if it is equal to one then this should happen for the favorites if the index is equal to zero sorry <laughs> equal to two and for the account if it is equal to three so right now if I select any of this you can see the text is changing and also you can do the same with the font size with the icon size so whatever you want to change you can do it here so one thing else let me do it let me select these things and put a, a comma at the end and save it and it's going to format it nicely okay what I want to do is I want to apply the same logic for the color of this uh, for the color of the icon so I am just going to copy this color that's it and what I'm going to do is I am going to delete this one and uh, I'm just going to paste it here so if I do so it's right now not working why let me yeah it should it should be working for the chat so if suppose this is selected and this should be one then it's going to work for that so right now you can see it is changed the same thing i want to do with the home or our opportunities so if i save it here you can see it is no longer blue and let me do it for our favorites for the favorites also inside the icon i am going to change the color but this color should be two not zero anymore and for the icon inside the uh, account this should be three so the index is three and if i save it and if i changed any of this item successfully we implement that part and here we have the opportunities and this is highlighted and if i select forum you can see we have the questions and this is highlighted for the favorites also and for the accounts also so we have successfully highlighted the selected index and how about preserving the estates of these pages suppose we want to preserve the estate of these opportunities uh, how we can do that if I just want to preserve the state of this opportunity if I click on that here you can see we have a stateful widget and this stateful widget is going to change whenever we call the set state so we have this set state method and which is a function whenever we call it this will build or will call this uh, built method and uh, it will rebuild this uh, page or this widget so how we can preserve it we hopefully we have something called uh, automatic uh, keep alive client mixing and if I just do that you can see we get this red squiggly lines and why that's happening because we need we uh, we are missing the concrete implementation of gators so how we can do that if I just click here and press command dot on Mac or if you're using a Windows machine by pressing uh, control dot you have this list and here we have this create one missing override and if I do that you can see we have this to do which means implement keep alive and this want basically this is the name of this getter want keep alive and return type if return type is boolean and if i 
just put false means we don't want the to preserve the state of this page but if I put true means yes we want to preserve the state of this page but still if you see here in or uh, here on the belt method we have this blue is quickly line which which is a warning here and if I just uh, hover on it and come here you can see at the end we we have this method overrides a method annotated with this one and this must call super so we need to call the super dot super dot build and we need to pass the context and if we do so right now you can see that the uh, that is quickly line is gone but uh, I will come to this preserving the state of the pages later when we have the data so when we have the data you will notice what this preserving the state means okay so hopefully we implemented this part as well so the rest if you want to implement this feature with any of the pages you can do it uh, the same way as we did it here so right now we have this uh, this part and uh, already implemented the navigation part and also the pages but if i go to my design and if i click on the opportunities you can see we have these parts first of all we have inside this opportunities page we have this app bar and this app bar has this uh, items here but what I am going to do is I am going to uh, stop uh, you know uh, coding uh, on this part and I am going to create um, you know a repository on the github and I'm going to publish this code there and surely I am going to share the link with you so you can go there you can see the code you can download the code and most importantly you can collaborate with me so uh, you can uh, have uh, beautiful suggestions if I miss something and if you know a better solution so this is what contributing means so we are uh, as a team we work together and we try to solve all the problems so how we can do that first of all I'm going to open the github here so uh, I'm going to open it and after opening the github so these are my list of repository I am going to create another repository so I am going to call this one as for sat which is available but uh, we have this forset back end and I'm going to call this one as forset mobile because this is our mobile application and for the description I am going to write forset mobile application using flatter but you can have your own beautiful description about it and also I want to keep this as public so everyone can see it and that's it so creating repository we have this one so we I'm just going to copy this because this is all the code that we need to do first of all we need to run the git commit and also we need to add whatever file or files we want to add there and also we need to run git commit with your message so I'm going to do all these things first of all I am going to open my terminal and inside the terminal I am going to write git init to initialize this repository and also I am going to write uh, git init and sorry git add and I'm going to put a dot here because what I want to do is I want to uh, post all this content and even though this is not a good uh, thing to do because uh, I believe the flatter will sometimes uh, just add this um, belt contents also but I'm going to do that even though these parts are added to this dot git ignore file but it's okay so I'm going to run git add dot means the entire uh, repository 
for these entire files and also we want to write git commit hyphen m for our message and I'm going to call it as initial and commit so even though this is not the initial commit uh, I mean this is the initial commit but this is not the beginning of this uh, course we have done something so these files are added there and you can see right now that blue line is gone and we need to add this one git remote at origin we need to add the origin uh, to this repository and also the last one we need to write git uh, push hyphen u as we are accessing or pushing this data into a remote origin and uh, origin so this is the origin and we need to call the master because we have the master branch here so this will take a little bit time based on the data that we want to post there so I'm going to pause it and it's done I think so yeah too fast so I am going to restart this one let's see yes we have this part and this readme is coming the from the flatter here so this is our readme here and we have everything so what I'm going to do is I am going to share this code with you and as I mentioned here is the place that you can raise any issue you can have your contribution with me and um, so on so thank you for watching so kindly subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified about the uh, next part